What's up YouTube, it's Cody with Bass and Bones again. Um, just kind of doing an impromptu video, really uh, just got back from a, a little event up at the Ranger Boat Factory, pretty cool little product knowledge day, uh, Ranger Days Advantage Tour they call it. Um, really cool getting to see the factory, but I decided, you know, we're, we're kind of mixing it up with YouTube and I wanted to do some things. Uh, we're definitely documenting kind of life on tour this year. That's actually going to be really cool. Biospawn's actually uh, going to help out with that. That's going to be that's going to be a cool segment we're going to do with YouTube. But I want to start doing kind of a, a video logs, uh, more just kind of uh, talking about what's going on, uh, questions that y'all might submit to me. So feel free to throw some questions in the uh, comment section, and I'll do my best to answer them. And the reason I want to do it is I start getting all kinds, especially this time of year, people are looking at sponsors and all this. And I start getting all kinds of questions from high school anglers, college anglers, just, you know, uh, club anglers asking questions. Of course, number one question that anybody's going to get is how do I get sponsors? How do I go about getting sponsors for fishing? Um, that's probably the hottest topic that you're going to read about, especially if you get on any kind of online forum or anything like that. So. I don't want to dive straight into that. Um, I kind of want to take it probably three weeks um, before we really get to that. And the reason for that is I want to talk a little bit about the reality of professional fishing. Um, and then we'll talk kind of how I started and how I progressed to where I am now. And then more go into the actuals of, you know, how I go about sponsors and partnerships and things like that um, and then we'll just make, we'll just go from there it doesn't have to be any planned thing I want to hear I really want to hear from y'all and, and see what kind of questions y'all have um, and it doesn't all have to be on a super serious note so um, kind of going right into it and I apologize this is a mess I got a gun cleaning uh, video most loader that should be posted here soon um, what a lot of people I don't think realize is when they they have kind of have this sense that every professional angler out there is just kind of rolling in the dough they see the nice lifted fancy trucks the awesome you know beautiful ranger boats wrap you know and they see all this and they think that it's just this easy go lucky you know you go get a free truck you go to get a free boat you head out and you fish every day and that's just not the case it might have been at one point in the time um but it's not now and a lot of this video please no one take this that i'm complaining i'm i'm not i'm absolutely blessed to be able to do what i do um as well as anybody else who gets to fish half as much as i do is very very lucky so don't take any of this as i'm complaining i'm just trying to convey the reality of of being a professional fisherman so you know the majority of people that are doing this they're not it, it's they're probably not in the position you think um you can see once again not complaining this is my my boat shop, tackle shop, whatever you want to call it. You know, we do everything here. Process deer in here. We build lures in here. I store my boat in here. Work on our vehicles in here if we need to. So it's a little bit of everything, you know. And I'm definitely lucky to have this uh, for years and years and years. Before we worked, wanted to work on a boat. We're you know laying cardboard down um, outside to to lay underneath it and work on it or or work on the engine whatever we're doing. So. Um, some of the stuff you see in the pictures you see online of people these nice huge shops with they can park their truck and boat in there that's not the case for everybody um it's just not and that kind of takes me on to it, the way things are portrayed now um in the media and and magazines and a lot of things if you're a high school angler a college angler you don't have to have a brand new 521C, you don't have to have that to start tournament fishing. As much as I would love you to go buy one, Lawrence would love you to go buy five 12 inch Gen 3s to put on there, and you know, Power Pole would love you to buy two, you know, 10 foot blades. You don't need that. In the last few years, it's just gotten so, I don't wanna say out of hand, it's grown and, and that growth is awesome for the industry, it really is. I'm, I'm happy to see everybody getting into it like they are, but you don't have to get in, you don't have to have all that stuff. And the reason I'm talking about it is because I've talked to some kids um, about it and they almost feel like they're discouraged. Like they don't even wanna try because they think they have to have so much money to compete and that's just not the case. Point being, look at John Cox. Um, I, I don't even really know John that well, but it's no one can you know not respect what he does in a in an aluminum boat. 
you just it, it, you don't have to have the things you see on TV and magazine. You know, Ranger, we're actually looking today, they, they have 18, 19 foot aluminum boats, absolutely perfect, that can handle big water, do everything that you want them to do. And for a high school, college, even for if you're just wanting to start out tournament fishing, absolutely perfect. Um, I know a lot of the guys, when I first started college fishing, a lot of the guys were running little 16 foot bass trackers, uh, or not even that. A lot of them were running, I remember at some of the very first college events, um, and if some of my old college uh, fishing teammates are on here, I'm sure they'll chime in. Running 16 foot flat bottom with tiller handle with an ice, ice chest cooler for a live well. Um, that's kind of where it came, just in probably eight years, I guess. So not very long, but you know, y'all don't get discouraged. Everybody that's looking for sponsors, looking for help, understand, but don't, don't get discouraged just because you don't have that brand new, you know, 21 foot, 20 foot, completely loaded to the gills, fiberglass boat at 18 years old, you're doing fine. If, if you can get on the water, you're doing fine. Just work on yourself, work on you know your fishing techniques, you're doing fine, I promise you. There's, for every person you see in a brand new boat out there, there are hundreds more wishing they could be just like you in that 16 foot aluminum boat. So you're doing fine. You don't have to have all that to get started. You absolutely don't. You know, like I said, we're gonna talk further um, kind of how I got started and, and how I think people need to start tournament fishing. And um, I'll, start slow. Honestly, start slow is, is kind of um, what I would recommend. But I'm gonna keep these short. I just kind of, I, I was thinking earlier, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing these video logs and, and uh, had had a lot of questions recently about that and, and people, you know, honestly kind of seem like they were discouraged because they can't afford um, $15,000 worth of graphs and they can't afford brand new power poles. You know, there are other options out there. Priority number one is obviously, it's cliche, I know, but priority number one is to have fun on the water. If you're not doing that, I don't care what level you're at, if you're not having fun on the water, you might as well not be out there. That's just point blank. Um, so don't worry about it, have fun, you know, work on yourself first um, and the rest will come. So I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this. Please subscribe, that way you can get the uh, next videos that are coming out. And we'll talk more, like I said, about really how to start out, how I started out, and then uh, dive more into actually going, how to go about getting sponsored for fishing. Once again, it's Bass and Bones. Thank y'all for watching.